Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to do this animal print design with roses. You'll need an assortment of polishes, the ones I've used are pictured here and will be listed below, and you'll also need a thin art brush and grab a Ziploc bag while you're at it. So I've started out with this taupey base on my nail and I'm applying a leopard print over my entire nail with my white polish. I'm keeping the print fairly small and I'm filling my nail. You can skip this step if you want. This design is time consuming that I'm showing you today and really the majority of this gets covered. I'm following an image that was found on Google. The original is from Shutterstock by Paprika and I wanted to stay true to the design I was following so I added this piece in and I'm glad I did but like I said it is time consuming so make that decision yourself. Okay so grab your Ziploc bag and paint a square with a base coat. That square is going to be a little bit larger than your nail size. Once that dries you're going to cover that with that same base color you're using on your nails. You're going to do three of these or however many accent nails you have on your dominant hand. So basically we're creating nail vinyls, an easy way to get around painting your dominant hand. This is a trick that Lucy Stash um, first kind of opened my eyes to. I've done this before for nail decals but never thought about doing it as a full nail vinyl. So you'll see the size is a fair bit larger than my nail and that's so if I rip it when I'm removing it from the plastic bag I still have lots to cover my nail. So now moving on we're going to create our mix and match animal print and it's a mix between stripes and spots. And each nail is slightly different, some have more stripes and some have more spots. So you can just follow along what I'm doing. This is kind of that tiger or zebra looking stripe and then I also add some kind of cheetah or leopard print spots as well and I fill my full nail. Now working with black polish you really want to make sure this step is dry before you move on to your next step. I decide to add a top coat so you certainly don't want that to smudge so make sure your work is dry. We're going to do the same thing with our Ziploc nail vinyls that we're creating. So I'm allowing that to dry fully and then I'm applying my top coat to each of those squares. Next up we're going to add our flower detail. Now today I started with my leaves first. I almost never start with my leaves first but anyway here I am adding my leaf bases so I'm using a light green just sketching in some leaves and some vines on my nail. Each of my nails are different so I'm placing this differently on each of my nails. So in some nails I'll have a large flower, in other nails I'll have a couple of smaller ones. For the flower base I'm using a light pink shade and again adding a few different sizes and shapes to my nail. They're not perfect circles, you'll see the edges are kind of um, wavy and bumpy and that gives it a little bit more of a floral look. Really these flowers they might look complicated but they're just a bunch of squiggly lines so if you look at this and think I can't do that please just try it you might surprise yourself. So for the greenery I'm just adding a darker green over top just to give it a little bit of depth and dimension. If you add too much of the dark green, go back in with the light green until you're happy with the outcome. I've switched over to a darker pink. I'm adding some squiggly curved lines to each of those flower shapes. Then I add in some lighter pink and do the same thing. You'll see I didn't even bother cleaning my brush because the more the colors mix together, I think the better it ends up looking. So once you do that, remember your top coat's going to smooth everything. So you might think that just looks like a blob. Honestly, when it's done, it's going to look beautiful. So here's a look at my Ziploc nails that I've created. Now I'm going to show you how to add those. Apply a base coat to your nail. Allow it to dry just a little bit so that it's tacky. I've cut my nail vinyl out somewhat to the shape of my nail. Yes, my nail shape is completely different on my dominant hand. Long story. I place that firmly on my nail and then using small scissors I'm going to trim that up as best I can. Now if I do this again I'll definitely do my dominant hand first. I was really worried I was going to ruin the work on my hand, my um, left hand when I was doing this step, cleaning up with the acetone around the nails. So I would absolutely do it the opposite way the next time. So if you guys try this design or this technique, just hashtag Christabel Nails. I love seeing your guys' recreations on Instagram. I hope you like this one. Leave me some comments below. Thumbs up and new subscribers are always appreciated.